Hello and welcome to Video Pro Solutions. I'm the host Andre. Got a real quick tutorial for y'all. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this. This is the Zion Weevil S. It's a great compact gimbal. I like this thing for several different reasons and I believe you will too. So, real quick, I'm just gonna sit this back on the table. I'll be mounting this camera here. This is a small but efficient camera made by Canon. It is the Canon M50. It's a mirrorless camera, one of the first mirrorless I owned. I will be doing a tutorial on this as well. I'll let y'all know my thoughts behind it. All right, so with that being said, back to the gimbal. Now this gimbal here is a great small compact gimbal. I really, really recommend you get this if you're just starting out. Um, as you can see, it has a total of three locks, but here's one lock. Here's another lock over here. And then if you turn over to this side, there's another lock. Now, you know, if you ever tried to balance a, um, a camera on a gimbal before, it took some skills, but it was doable. But the fact that we have locks make this thing a whole lot easier, in my opinion. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave the bottom lock. We don't need to worry about that right now, but we do need to worry about this other one. So that notch or lock over here on this arm, we're gonna go ahead and bring that up. You can see the sign says this side up, good. All right, so now we're gonna actually bring this down and we are going to lock this. Now, with everything being locked, I just wanted to show you, we have a plate here and it has a quick release right here. You press this and voila. Okay, we have this piece in our hands. This is the piece that we're gonna to need to mount the camera to. All right, so what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna grab this piece, look underneath where it is. Now the silver part, you must line up with the lens and that's part of the lens. Let's just say it's part of the lens support. All right, now, normally you can use a nickel or dime or even a penny, but since I'm home and I have my screwdriver close by, I figured I'd just use <laughs> the proper tool. But anyway, we're gonna keep it moving. Once that's tight, and you got it in the, you know, nice, you got it nice and tight. All right, from there, boom, voila. Just come over here, line this back up, and lock it back down. I like to double check, make sure it's locked, okay? Now I know that's locked and that plate is on there. I'm gonna turn around. Let's get to actually balancing this thing, y'all. Now, with this, we're gonna start with the top one. We're gonna unlock that. As you can see, the camera's falling forward. We don't want that. So on the side, here's a little lock to help you slide this into position. And just like that, normally if I take a chance with that and lock this down, I'm okay, all right? So let's try it, yup, it's staying face down and it's staying face up. All right, so now everything's working good. Now always remember to make sure you have the lens, you have all your accessories on there already because once you balance it with this weight, it's that weight. I mean, any slight little thing could throw it off a little bit, but I wouldn't worry. Um, so once you have that down, we can go ahead and lock this one back. That axle's locked. I told you these locks are very helpful. All right, so now we're gonna unlock this here lock on, over on this side, and we're gonna let that arm swing. That's the left to right and then we're going to move on to the next balancing act um again unleash this lock as you can see the camera wants to roll to that side we don't want that we want to slide this camera back over so we can get it almost balanced like that all right now there's another little latch under here you will have to actually click on and voila all right so that looks to be about balanced y'all at least on that, I mean, um, oh, didn't lock it down all the way. So that could be a problem, y'all. So remember, yeah, you can go ahead and laugh. That was funny, man. <laughs> remember, make sure you lock these locks down, all right? Make sure you got a balance, make sure you lock it down, make sure everything's good, very important. Double check if you have to, press down. And once you normally lock them in place, there's no problem. So I'm glad that happened. So you, if you do, you know, want to rush in to get this thing done, you know, remember, double check that lock. Make sure it's nice and tight. 
All right, so last but not least, we just have to actually unlock this one. There is a table setup that you need to do when you first get it, but being as though I did already, I'm not gonna get into all that, because let's get into the features now. All right, so what you wanna do is whatever phone you may have, it's probably a cable on the box board, or you might have to order one. All right, so you wanna make sure you plug your camera, plug this cord into your camera, Okay, so once you plug up the wire, you're ready, set, go. I'm going to actually flip this around, turn the camera on. All right, so we're going to pause here because we need to switch up angles, y'all, so y'all can see the menu here. All right, I'm going to leave it on the table. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. Part number two. I'm only pausing for this reason, y'all. Okay, now that we finished balancing it, you know, the next thing I wanted to show you was basically, you know, the other features for us, you know, what this gimbal can help you with. And as you can see, you know, you have access to certain features here. All right, but first, you know, I'm going to click on motor, and then I'm gonna click on auto. And I'm going to let that go ahead and balance and make sure everything is good. And we'll show you what that looks like as it's balancing. Okay, so now that it's balanced, you can see we have a check mark here. All right, now, now, with that being said, once I turn my camera on, the gimbal did recognize it. Down here, you have to set that up, but it's a small small step you know so once you got that on you can see we have the tv there the shutter speed i can mess around with that you know and uh if i needed to on the fly i really like that feature you know got too much sun dumb it down not enough open it up you know so uh, i like that now you also have your shutter speed here again during the video, you're just going to set it and forget it, but it's helpful that, you know, you're able to just go ahead and switch that out. I mean, maybe you do want to take some photos using your gimbal. I mean, this would be great um, for that. So, that being said, we have the ISO, you know, and it's on auto, or, you know, you can go ahead and set it to what you want. All right, so now that y'all see those features, that's pretty much it on this tutorial, y'all. And thank you for continuing to watch. I recommend picking up one it should be less than 300 bucks for them now when i paid i paid maybe five six hundred up to get it um but enough about that thank y'all for watching if you like to see more tutorials feel free to subscribe uh, up next though i'm gonna probably work on a tutorial about this here unit since we're on gimbals now what is this this is a dji osmo plus now i had this for quite a few years now this is a camera shoots 4k it's on a small gimbal and you're able to control everything right in the palm of your hands so great little tool and I think nowadays you can probably purchase one of these for less than 200 bucks um, used uh, DJI doesn't manufacture these anymore but you know I have two of them and I still use them with no problems you know um, it shoots 4k um, quite a few different frame rates we'll be doing a tutorial on it not sure when though but uh, if y'all want to see this, just leave it in the comments, all right? Remember to subscribe to Video Pro Solutions. Thanks for your time. Uh, if you don't have that big budget, you know, $1,000, get grab something like this. Man. Again, it shoots in 4K. Uh, it's simple to use. All you need is an old cell phone or a cell phone that has Wi-Fi. You download the app on your Wi-Fi, and then that's all you need. Once you got the app on the phone and you can be out and about, you just open up that phone, go to Wi-Fi, it'll find your camera. Um, and then once it finds your camera, you connect to the app and you ready, set, go. You can start shooting in 4K. Now, it also comes with this nice little convenient mic, but um, downfalls of that, we'll get into it on the tutorial. So stay tuned. Let me know what y'all think. Again, what, thank you for watching Video Pro Solutions. I'm the host, Andre. And remember to capture the moments, y'all. All right. Peace.